Hi, I'm Sean Means. I'm the movie critic at the Salt Lake Tribune. Uh, I've been covering the Sundance Film Festival since 1994. Picked up a few tips along the way, and here they are. Never try to drive in Park City, largely because uh, there's too many other people trying to do it, and there's no place to park. Best thing to do is to find one of the lots that the uh, Sundance runs, uh, pay your 10 bucks to be there, and then take the shuttle buses. Uh, the, the shuttles run through to all the venues, to all the places you want to go in Park City during the festival, uh, and they run all the time. If you want to get something to eat in Park City, usually you're running between screenings uh, and you're just going to have to grab and go as, uh, at the nearest place you can. Um, if you want to sit down for a good dinner, uh, call ahead, make reservations, and also make sure that the restaurant that you want to go to is actually open during the festival. A lot of restaurants uh, basically uh, rent out to corporations for hospitality suites and so on and aren't open the way they would be during the rest of the year. Well, the premieres are the glitziest, most glamorous uh, parts of the festival, uh, and that's where all the movie stars are going to be. But they're also the movies that are going to be in theaters or um, on, t on TV or on Netflix or whatever within a few months. They're going to be out very soon. Uh, you can see them whenever. Uh, so, it's, so use the festival as a chance to find the weird and unusual things that will never come this way again, uh, and, and you will surprise yourself with something that's just unusual and fascinating. This year the festival is trying something new. They are implementing an electronic waitlist system. Uh, so you don't just have to show up two hours before the movie, uh, get, a, get a paper uh, uh, waitlist number, and then come back and, and get in the waitlist. Uh, you can now do that via smartphone, via tablet, via computer. Uh, you have to register in advance on the Sundance website, sundance.org. Uh, but do that and you can then use your smartphone to, uh, uh, to get on the wait list and uh, save yourself a trip. And it looks, it looks like it's a really good new way to, to uh, get the wait list experience without quite as much of the hassle. A lot, of, a lot of the screenings are in Salt Lake City. They're at the Rose Wagner, they're at the Broadway, they're at the Tower, they're at the Salt Lake City Library. Uh, go to Salt Lake City. The movies are just as good and you uh, avoid a lot of the mess of, of Park City. Plus, the people who make the movies love to see their movies with a Salt Lake City audience because it gives them a good test of how the movie plays in front of a regular audience and not just a bunch of Hollywood insiders. When you go to the movies, especially if you go to the more unusual screenings and go to the, the short programs, uh, you can usually make a, con a personal connection with the filmmakers. If you go to a short program and then you see somebody walking around nervously in the lobby afterwards, that's probably the filmmaker. Uh, and if you go say hi to that person and say, tell that person that you liked their movie, you will have made a friend for life. Uh, they'll follow you home. They'll do your laundry. They'll, they'll, they will love you for the fact that, that that you have given them the chance to, to connect with an audience member uh, after, after how many ever years they've spent working on their film and not knowing if anyone's going to like it. Having, having an audience member say, I liked your film, is the greatest experience you can give uh, somebody at the festival.